guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the look that I am wearing right now. Um, it is actually a recreation of a look that the actress Sophie Turner wore the other day. She wore this really beautiful forest emerald green smoky eye that her makeup artist Georgie created on her. And I just, the moment I saw it, I instantly fell in love with it and I knew that I had to recreate it. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm just going to stop talking. We're just going to jump right into it and get started on this look right here. I'm going to start by prepping my skin. I'm going to be using the Hydrogenous Moisturizer from L'Oreal. So I'm just putting a little bit of the moisturizer in my palm, rubbing my hands together and then applying it to my face. This is just going to prep the skin for anything we're going to lay on top of it. Then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm going to apply a little bit of that on top of my eyelids. And then I'm going to take the setting brush from Real Techniques and distribute that concealer. And I'm doing this just to conceal any redness I might have on my lids, as well as creating a good base for our eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to set the concealer with this to create an even better base for laying eyeshadow. So I'm going to take these, this small powder brush from Real Techniques, this is from the Powder Blue Collection. I'm going to work that powder into my brush and then just apply a light layer on top of the concealer to set it. Next I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. And I'm going to take this shade Enchanted, which is this one right here. It's a beautiful matte forest green shade. And I'm just going to take that on a shadow brush. This one is from Real Techniques. And I'm going to start packing that onto my lid. Um, the shade can be a bit patchy, so it's a good idea to lay the base that we did beforehand with the concealer and the loose powder. So I'm just going to apply it layer by layer to build up the color. Then I'm going to take the Sigma E40 blending brush and this brush is completely clean. I don't have any shadow on it and I'm just going to use it to blend out any edges that I might have from that enchanted shade because we want it to be really smoky and really like blown out. Then going into my Jaclyn Hill palette again, I'm going to take this beautiful turquoise shade. It's called Jada and I'm taking that on a blending brush again from Real Techniques. This is from the Bold Metals collection and I'm applying that shade to the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner corner of my eye and then connecting the two with a little bridge in the crease. And I'm doing this to deepen up the enchanted shade that we lay down on the eyelid and to give it a little bit more of a dimension because if you don't do this, it kind of looks a little flat on the eyelid. Then I'm going to take the clean Sigma E40 brush again and blend the two shades together even more and make sure that there are no hard edges. Next, I'm going to take this eyeliner. This is the Infallible Gel Crayon 24 Hour in the shade Rest in Khaki. It's kind of a green taupey color and I'm going to put that in my upper and lower waterline. And then I'm going to blink really intensely just to smudge it all out. Then I'm going to take the Enchanted shade again and I'm going to take that on a stiff little blending brush. This is a shading brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to smush, smudge that shade along my lower lash line. And I use that shade to blend out the eyeliner in my waterline as well just to make it really seamless. Then I'm going to take the shade Jada again on the same brush as before and I'm going to blend that Enchanted shade on my lower lash line even more with this one and sort of frame it with the turquoise shade. Next, I'm gonna take this white blush refill number four from Makeup Studio. It's a white shade that has a little bit of a sheen to it and I'm going to use that from the inner corner all the way up to my brow bone. As you can see on the picture then, um, Sophie had a little bit of a luminescence underneath her brow bone as well as in her inner corner. So I'm gonna use this to lay a good base for anything that we might be applying later on. Then I'm just gonna touch up my eyeliner in my waterline to make sure it's completely even after we smudged out the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take this Tusa Claw Foundation from YSL. 
This is a really beautiful light foundation. It's medium to light coverage and I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and then transfer it to the center of my face and then I'm gonna take a brush. This is from Real Techniques as well. This is from the Powder Blue collection. It's actually meant to be used in with powder foundations but I love using it with liquid ones because it just gives such a smooth finish to the skin. So I'm just gonna blend out the foundation with that and like you can see it's not covering too much. It keeps like the natural texture of the skin itself. Now I'm going to take the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild again and I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer on my setting brush, the same brush as we used before, and I'm going to conceal my under eye circles as well as shape the eyeshadow a bit. So I'm using the concealer both to shape the eye and to conceal any dark spots that I might have underneath my eyes. So I just continue building the concealer up until I have the desired amount of coverage and the shape of the eyeshadow that I'm looking for. And here you can see the difference between the eye that I have shaped and the one that I haven't. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm just going to take a dry beauty blender and press it on top of the concealer just to make sure that it is completely smooth and blended. Taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder using the same brush as before, I'm going to work that powder into my brush and then set the concealer with just a light layer of powder as well as the rest of my face. As you can see, Sophie had her skin was kind of matte, so I'm going to just use a light layer of the Translucent Setting Powder just to mattify the skin and set the foundation and the concealer. Then I'm going to press that powder again into the skin with my Dry Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow refill number 201 from Makeup Studio. It's a very cool tone, taupey color, and I'm going to use it on a blush brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to use it to contour just right underneath my cheeks, underneath my cheekbone, to give my face a little bit more of a structure. And then along my jawline as well. So just using a very light hand because it is quite cool toned. Then yet again taking a dry beauty blender and just pressing that into the skin to make sure that it is completely blended. For blush, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette again and I'm going to mix the shade Roxanne with the shade Hunt and create a really beautiful rosy red blush shade. So I'm taking that on a dual fiber brush, dusting off any excess and then applying it to the apples of my cheek. If I feel like the blush is a little too intense, I go in with my foundation brush and use whatever foundation is left on that brush to sort of blend it in and make the blush sort of melt into the skin, make it really smooth and nice. Then I'm gonna take the taupey shade again, number 201 from Makeup Studio, and I'm gonna take that on the Sigma E40 brush, and I'm just gonna pack that onto my brush, dust off the excess, and then I'm gonna go around my eye. So I'm going in the crease, and then I'm dragging the same shade underneath my eye just to blend everything out. This is actually a trick I learned from Sir John, who is Beyonce's makeup artist. I went to a masterclass of his, and he always does this with every eye look he does. And it really just is a nice finishing touch to finish off the eye look. It gives it a little more depth. Going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette, once again, I'm gonna take the shade Beam on a small duo fiber brush, and I'm gonna place that in the inner corner just to brighten up the look. As you can see, Sophie had some brightness in her inner corner as well, so I'm doing the same thing here. Then I'm gonna take the Lancome Sorcel Styler. This is just a colored brow gel. I'm gonna comb through my brows in an upwards motion, and then I'm gonna let the brow gel actually set and dry, and then I'm gonna comb my brows into place. While I let my brows set, I'm gonna take the Volume Million Lashes Mascara from L'Oreal and I'm gonna coat my upper and bottom lashes with a lot of mascara. You could tell that Sophie used like single lash lashes, but I'm not really a fan of falsies. Um, I can't be bothered most of the time, so I'm just gonna put a lot of mascara on my lashes instead. Moving on to lips, I'm going to take this Kate lipstick from Rimmel. It is the shade 45 and it's a really beautiful neutral nude shade and I'm going to put that on my lips. It's kind of a 90 shade when you see it in person. It's really nice. 
Then I'm gonna take this last separator and I'm gonna comb through my brows because now the brows have set and they're dried. And then now I can comb through them and sort of separate them and comb them down to the shape that I actually want them to be in. Then I'm gonna take this Honey Lacquer from Max Factor. This is in the shade Honey Nude. And it's kind of a mix between a gloss and a lipstick. And I'm just applying that, applying that on top of my lipstick just to give it a little bit more of a sheen since the Rimmel lipstick is kind of matte. And then last but not least, I'm putting my hair down and parting it in the same way Sophie did. And that's it, that's the look. So there you have it, my recreation of the look that Sophie Turner wore the other day. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something new from it. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. And you can find all my socials down in the description box below, as well as the products that I used. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!